there's nothing like a little knife play to make attempted murder more intimate. <coughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 knife fights. When it happens, it'll happen fast. For this list, we're looking at knife fight scenes that feature crazy skills, nail-biting intensity, or just plain old silliness. You call that a knife? This is a knife. That's not a knife, that's a spoon. Number 10, Jean-Claude Van Damme versus Assassins, Time Cop. Van Damme plays a time-traveling cop on a mission to keep his wife from blowing up in an explosion. She was killed. Sorry. I must have thought about going back and changing that. After a couple of assassins are sent to murder him in his sleep, he must fend off a knife attack wearing only his boxer shorts and awesome mullet. <laughs> and no Jean-Claude Van Damme action sequence would be complete without the splits. 50,000 volts, m Have a nice day. Because why not? Well, you always said that any one of us could challenge a Butch. Well, that's because I figured no one would do it. Figured wrong, Butch. Number nine, Paul Newman versus Ted Cassidy, Butch Cassidy, and the Sundance Kid. Guns or knives? Neither. After being challenged to a gunfight and then a knife fight by a fellow Hulk-like gang member, Anything you say, Butch. Butch Cassidy tries to figure out a way to not get stabbed to death. No, no, not yet. Not until me and Harvey get the rules straightened out. Rules? In a knife fight? <laughs> Some clever quick thinking and an apparent onslaught of confusing words. One, two, three, go! Are all it takes to disarm and disable a man who clearly would have destroyed Butch. Bet on Logan. I would, but who'd bet on you? Number eight. David Carradine versus James Reamer, The Long Riders. Massive bowie knives and chewing on the same piece of rope seems to be how they handle things in the Wild West. Doesn't make much sense, does it? Cole Younger and Cherokee Sam Starr are apparently going to fight to the death over Sam's wife. I was asking. Sam Starr. I'm married to that lady. With the lovely woman suggesting the hand-to-hand -hand duel for her amusement. You make it man-to-man. -man. Hand to hand. Because nothing spells love quite like K-N-I-F-E. Come on, let the girl go. It's between you and me. Number seven, Arnold Schwarzenegger versus Vernon Wells, Commando. I just want to pull a trigger to put a knife in me. This knife fight scene is entertaining for a number of reasons, namely the dialogue and the crazed enthusiasm shown by the villain. I can beat you. <laughs> I don't need no gun! Arnold Schwarzenegger is a retired black ops agent on a rampage of shirtless anger to save his kidnapped daughter. Have some beers in Valverde Matrix. It'll give everyone a little more time with your daughter. You're a funny guy, Sally. I like you. That's why I'm going to kill you last. When he encounters Vernon Wells in a darkened room, the knives come out and all bets are off. I gotta kill you now! Number six, Steven Seagal versus Tommy Lee Jones, Under Siege. You've been financing this goddamn maniac's private army? And didn't occur to you it might become a problem? In this classic, Seagal is a chef. So who are you? Are you, are you like some special forces guy or something? Just a lowly, lowly cook. Oh my god, we're gonna die. But also secretly a Navy SEAL. Obviously. So, when Tommy Lee Jones goes into terrorist mode... You know what's going on. I have 32 tomahawks under my thumb, and the only thing you can do about it is alert the media. Busts out the knives and goes to work, the ponytailed one has to stop him from detonating a bank of missiles. And a knife fight seems like a good way to do it. Come to think of it, a stab to the skull is usually an effective deterrent. Keep the faith, Stranix. Number five, Uma Thurman versus Vivica A. Fox, Kill Bill, Volume One. Tarantino's violent masterpiece gives us a lot of things, namely Uma Thurman on a murderous rampage for revenge. She plays the bride, who has come after Vernita Green to enact justice for her part in a band of assassins that attacked her and left her for dead on her wedding day. So number one? Yeah. It's a tall drinker. Cocksucker ain't dead. 
The knife fight isn't just a simple girl fight, it's an intense battle between two badass gals who leave the scratching to the blades. Number four, Paul Hogan versus would-be mugger, Crocodile Dundee. Two beers, all right? One for me, one for me, mate. Mick Dundee, played by Paul Hogan, is a fish out of water as a rugged Australian man of the outback who's transported to New York for a news feature. Yeah, New York must be the friendliest place on earth. He's innocently strolling the mean streets with a lady friend when a mugger approaches and whips out a knife. Mick, give him your wallet. To which Mick Dundee responds in kind. <laughs> Knife. That's a knife. The bigger the knife, the safer you are. You all right? I'm always all right when I'm with you, Dundee. God, that sounds corny. Number three, Benicio Del Toro versus Tommy Lee Jones, The Hunted. They are coming for you. If you cross this line, you better be ready to kill me. Benicio Del Toro plays a trained assassin on the lam from the authorities, and Tommy Lee Jones is the only one who can stop him. I made him what he is and I can stop him. Thankfully, or maybe regretfully, Jones is the one who trained Del Toro's character in the fine art of murder. What's your relationship to Helen? I trained him to kill. And when the two men confront each other, they engage in the dance of the knives. <laughs> What'll it be then? Rib or chop, loin or shank. Number two, Daniel Day Lewis versus Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Gangs of New York. You see this knife? I'm gonna teach you to speak English with this knife. The butcher is aptly named in this Martin Scorsese saga. Thanks for his penchant for slicing up the odd person here and there. <laughs> Please don't make that noise again, Harvey. In this climactic scene, Leo's Amsterdam, who's already made one failed attempt at killing his foe, that is a wound, finally gets his second chance to enact revenge for his father's murder. And what better way to do it than with the butcher's favorite toys? Before we cut out our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I'm gonna straight up murder your ass. Hey, pick up, mate. Oh, God! Oh, I did not see that coming! Okay, now I'm going to do his teeth and cut off his fingers. Number one, Viggo Mortensen versus Russian thugs. You might want to leave it on. Eastern promises. He's not the driver, he is the undertaker. In this scene, Mortensen, who plays a cleaner for a Russian crime boss, has been set up to take the place of his boss's son. Do they know where to find Kirill? They are like what? Do they know what he looks like? But since there's a hit out on his son's life, he's basically set up to be killed, or so the Russian thugs think when they enter the steam room. This knife fight is particularly brutal because Mortensen is completely naked and manages to win the fight with nothing more than skin and skill. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite knife fight scene? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Remember, Sally, when I promised to kill you last? That's right, Major. You did. I lied. No!